Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create a refresh token API in Node.js. So let's get started. You can see here the Node.js application. Let's go to opmiddleware.js. In this file, I'm going to create a new function that is a verify token. In the argument, it will receive a token. And here I'm going to call jwt.verify. In the argument, we need to pass here the token that we are getting in the argument. And second, we need to pass here the secret key. You can see here the JWT from the JSON web token. And you can see here the secret key that we are getting from the JWT config file. So we also need to return this. Let me export this function. Let's go to login.js under the services package. In this file, I'm going to create an async function that is a refresh token. In the argument, it will receive an old token. I'm going to import a method from the auth middleware.js that is a verify token. And here I'm going to call verify token. In the argument, we need to pass here the old token. And here I'm going to initialize a variable to save the response of this method. After getting the response of this method, I'm going to call here user model and the query that is a find by ID. In the argument, we need to pass here the ID that we are getting in this variable that is a decoded token. That is a underscore ID. Let me save the response of this into this object that is a user. And here I'm going to add the condition where we need to check if user is not exist, then we need to return here the response that is a user not found. If the user exists, then we need to call here the method that is a generate token. In the argument, we need to pass here the user object. And here I'm going to initialize a variable to save the response of this method. And here I'm going to return the new token. Let me add here the try block. Let me move this code inside the try block. And here I'm going to add the catch block. It will catch an exception in case of API failing. And here we need to throw new error. That is an invalid token. Let me export this function. Let's go to login.js under the controllers package. Let me copy this function. Let me paste after that. Let me update the function name that is a refresh token. From the request body, we need to get the token. And here we need to call the method from our auth service that is a refresh token. In the argument, we need to pass here the token that we are getting from the request body. Let me update the object name that is a new token. Let me update the response. And inside the catch block, I'm going to update the message that is a invalid token. Let me export this function. Let's go to login.js under the routes package. Let me copy this line. Let me update the URL so it will be a refresh hyphen token. Let me import here the method that is a refresh token. And here we need to call the method that is a refresh token. So this is the implementation of the refresh token API. Let me open here the integrated terminal under the SRC package. And here I'm going to write the command to run the Node.js application. So the command is node space app.js. And you can see application started. Let's go to Postman and let's test the API. You can see here the URL of our login endpoint that is a slash auth slash login. And you can see here the credentials of the admin. Let's click on the send button to generate the token of the admin. Let me copy the token. You can see here the URL of our refresh token endpoint that is a slash auth slash refresh token. And you can see here the body where we have a key that is a token inside the codes. I'm going to add here the token of the admin. Let's click on the send button to generate the refresh token of the admin. And you can see here the status of the API that is a 200 OK. And you can see here the object with the refreshed token. Let's go to the previous tab. Let me add here the credentials of the customer. Let's click on the send button to generate the token of the customer. 
let me copy this token let's go to the second tab let me remove the previous one let me add here the token of the customer let's click on this send button and you can see here the status of the api that is a 200 okay and you can see here the object with the refreshed token so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video if you have any confusion you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye